Good morning friends, myself Mr. Pramod S. Phatak, Assistant Professor in Department of Chemistry, late Pushpa Devi Patil Arts and Science College, Rissol. Today we are going to see <coughs> from your first unit and from the first unit the part A that is covalent bonding. Actually, this part we are seeing in two to three parts. So today we will see the first part of covalent bonding. So what is mean by covalent bonding? As you learn in last few lectures, from the last few lectures that is metallic bonding. In last year you have studied ionic bonding. So what is covalent bonding? The majority of the compounds in this universe are made from covalent bonds. Example, the compounds present in animals and plants such as oils, proteins, sugars, woods, etc. These atoms which are present in plants and some sugars are also present in our body and other animals. So these all compounds are made up of from the covalent bond. Then another is the gases which are present in our atmosphere and we have studied in our syllabus that is nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen chloride, ammonia. These are also made up from the covalent bonding. Means the both the nitrogen at atoms or both the oxygen atoms having a covalent bond. Okay. Lastly, you have seen in ionic bond there is a two types of charges are there in ionic bond plus and minus. But in this covalent bonding there is no charge. Equal sharing of electrons uh, gives the covalent bonding. Means both the atoms both the atoms sharing their each electron or one electron and form the bond nothing but the called as covalent bond. So why they are sharing their electrons? Because they are a, they are having an unpaired electron in their outermost cell. So that's why he has to gain a stable configuration means those atoms having a stable configuration that's why they share their one electron and <coughs> gains a octet you know the octet rule so both the oxygen or nitrogen compounds sharing their e electron and get the stability so this is the covalent bond means a covalent bond is formed by the sharing of electrons between two atoms participating in the bond formation. Levis theory you have studied the Levis theory explains the covalent bond formation on the basis of tendency of atoms to attain a stable Nobel gas configuration by sharing of electrons. You have studied the Lewis theory. Every atom or every molecule sharing his electron to attain a stable noble gas configuration. So it gets a stability. So your nitrogen or oxygen is having a N2 or O2 because not a only N or O only n having a unpaired electron so it doesn't get its stable electronic configuration so it's sharing its electron with another nitrogen molecule and having a noble gas configuration or which obeys the octet rule it could not but this Lewis theory could not explain the stability reactivity and geometry of covalent molecules 
the idea has been explained on the basis of wave mechanics this stable means valence bond theory or sorry valence bonding is explained by the wave mechanics which have uh, you are going to see in next some slides or in next part of this recording so this covalent bonding mainly explains by the two theories two theories developed for the these covalent bonding or to express the covalent bond so first one is the valence bond theory and second one is the molecular orbital theory so valence bond theory you have already known or you have studied in last year the valence bond theory so here we can see in short this valence bond theory but we mainly focusing on the molecular orbital theory because valence bond theory having a uh, some limitations to explain this covalent bonding so here what is the valence bond theory this theory explains how bonding occurs in two molecules what type of bonding is there or how this bonding occurs is explained by valence bond theory again vcpr part is the valence bond theory in last lecture or last couple of lecture you have discussed the vsepr theory that is valence shell electron pair repulsion theory this is also a part of valence bond theory so what is the principle of valence bond theory bonds form from overlapping atomic orbitals and electron pairs are shared between two atoms a new set of hybridized orbitals can form that is lone pairs of electrons are localized on one atom you have seen this in last some lecture the first lecture which i was going to deliver that is vscpr theory you have learned this theory and from this you have calculated what is how many lone pairs are there and how many bond pairs are there this this is the valence bond theory now we are going to see the molecular orbital theory here we are going to discuss in brief this mot or molecular orbital theory this the theory developed by three scientist that is hund mulliken and leonard jones and this theory explains the distrib distributions and energy of electrons in the molecule this theory is useful for the describing properties of compounds that is bond energies electron cloud distribution and magnetic properties so here are we are going to see the basic principle of mo theory atomic orbitals combine to form molecular orbitals molecular orbitals having a different energies that is depending on the types of overlapping overlapping of the molecular orbitals so first one is the bonding orbitals this first bonding orbitals lower energy than the corresponding anti bonding orbitals bonding orbitals having a lower energy than corresponding anti bonding orbitals then non bonding orbitals same energy as corresponding anti bonding orbitals and the third one is the anti bonding orbitals high in energy than the corresponding anti bonding orbitals in <clears throat> next we are going to see these are in de details so what is postulates or salient features of molecular orbital theory the first one is the molecular orbitals are formed by 
combination of atomic orbitals of nearly same energy and having a same symmetry then another one in molecular orbital theory all the electrons in the molecules are considered to be under the influence of all nuclei present in molecule the next one the number of molecular orbitals form is equal to the number of atomic orbitals undergoing combination which when two atomic orbitals combine two molecular orbitals are form the first one is the bmo which is a lower energy orbital that is bonding molecular orbital and the another one the abmo this is the anti bonding molecular orbital having a higher energy the shape of molecular orbitals depend on the shape of combining atomic orbitals the next one the distribution of electron in molecular orbital is similar to the atomic orbitals that is according to afferbau energy rule or we can say the afferbau principle then the pauli's exclusive principle and hund's rule okay you have studied from the beginning you have learned the afferbau energy principle then pauli's exclusion principle and hund's rule these three rules or three principle states the distribution of electrons in molecular orbital or their nature to distributing the electrons in molecular orbital these are the rules which have described the distribution of electrons in molecular orbital <clears throat> so we have to revise these three energy rules you have already known the apavo principle then pauli's exclusion principle and hund's rule but here we are going to take a brief review or in short a uh, their revision in next slides and in next some slides we are going to see the combination of atomic orbitals taking place according to the lcao method that is linear combination of atomic orbitals method that is lcao method here we have to stop and in next slide or next lecture we are going to discuss or we are going to revision the apavo principle pauli's exclusion principle hund's rule and the detailed lcao method